Welcome back crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and today I am back with you to share a tutorial video on how I created this oversized envelope that fits, ta-da, a pocket letter and I used freezer paper, wrapping paper, an iron and the envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. Oh, and I do not want to forget the We Are Memory Keepers envelope generator app. Without that, I would have not known the size to make. So, um, we're going to go ahead and just get started here shortly. I did create one of these last weekend and I did a little test mailing with Seth Ball and he just uploaded his video today of how it came through the mail. So I will link that below. But let's go ahead and get started. The first step of making your oversized envelopes is to gather all of your supplies. The first thing you'll need is an iron, and I set it on the cotton setting, which is the highest, and do not turn on the steam. Next, you'll need a ruler and some scissors. The handy We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. A roll of wrapping paper, any style, that is your choice and some freezer paper. I have the Reynolds brand here. Um, keep in mind, this is freezer paper, not waxed paper, so only one side is coated, and mine is 18 inches wide. I would also suggest a cutting mat, and you'll see why later. The last thing you'll wanna have before we get started is the Envelope Generator app. Mine is on my iPhone. I'm not sure if they make it for Android devices, if you're just planning on making them for the pocket letters, you can use the dimensions I give you here and you might not need to download it. But it is a fun app and would come in handy for all types of envelopes. Using the app is super simple. All you do is put in how big your card is or how big the pieces that you want to fit in the envelope. For a pocket letter, I would suggest 11 and a quarter by 9 inches. The reason for this is I created one for 11 by 9 and it was a little too tight on the pocket letter. Once you have input the dimensions your card is, you click on the generate button and then the app gives you the paper size and the punch guide measurement. For our project today, the paper size is 15 and 5 eighths and our first punch will be at 7 inches. Now that we have all the preliminary stuff out of the way, let's start to make our envelope. Since my freezer paper is 18 inches wide, I know that if I tear approximately a square of it, that that will be plenty of material for a 15 and 5 eighths inch square. Next, I'm going to cut a piece of the wrapping paper that I know is just about 18 inches long. Once you have those two pieces cut, you are going to be sealing the shiny edge of the freezer paper to the back side of the wrapping paper. And before I can start sealing anything, I do need to prepare my work surface. If you have an ironing board, this part won't really be necessary, but what I'm doing is putting down a glass cutting mat, and then on top of that I have just a couple white pillowcases that I'm going to put down just for some cushion. And the glass I'm hoping will um, absorb the heat so it doesn't ruin my cutting mat. Okay, now we are ready to start ironing on the freezer paper. Once again, my iron is on the cotton or the highest setting, and I let it preheat for probably about five minutes. What I'm doing here is I'm lining up the straight edges that were from the factory, not the edges I tore, so that I know that both the wrapping paper and the freezer paper, this is a good straight edge. I start out by ironing that bottom edge where I have lined up the two pieces. Um, even though the video is sped up a little bit, I do go pretty slowly while I am ironing it. You'll be able to tell when, it's, when the pieces are sealing together because the freezer paper will get a little bit wrinkly and you'll be able to see the pattern on the wrapping paper better through that freezer paper. So just take your time, um, get everything ironed here. And I actually left my iron on and you'll see me here a couple times 
when I'm making the envelope, go back and just kind of um, reseal some of the parts. Once I think I have it all ironed, I do kind of check the edges where the wrapping paper meets the freezer paper to see if it seems sturdy. And now I'm going to start making a right angle just so I know I have two straight edges. Unfortunately, my camera went blurry here and I did not know that, so please forgive that. To make my right angle, I line my good straight edge along one of the white lines on my cutting mat. And then I use a ruler and the grid on the cutting mat to make a line with a pencil just right across the entire piece of freezer paper. Once I've drawn that, I get out my scissors and just cut right along that line. And now I have a right angle to go ahead and start measuring that final 15 and 5 eighths inch square. Phew, I am so glad to be back to a non-blurry video. Again, I'm sorry about that. What I'm going to do now is cut my 15 and 5 8 inch square. The time I did this on video, I accidentally cut it at only 15 and 3 8 so kind of ignore the ruler at the bottom. You will want the final piece to be 15 and 5 8 if you have sewing supplies like a rotary cutter and a longer ruler, you might want to use those when making your square. And now it's time to pull out your envelope punch board. Because the ruler on the envelope punch board only goes to 5 inches, I am having to make a mark at the 7 inch spot here on the side of my um, wrapping paper square. So after I've done that, I get out the envelope punch board and I center that mark right where that notch is, just right in the middle and push that back against the back. I did decide to go ahead and pull out another ruler and just make sure that two inches from that five inch mark is where my paper was setting, um, but it was, so I think you're okay with just marking your seven inches and going with it. So <clears throat> once I verified that it was at seven inches, now it's just kind of like making a regular envelope. You punch it and then you score it. Now, because the paper runs off the side of the envelope scoreboard, only score as far as you can go and be very careful not to tear your paper at the end. And I do go over that score line probably three or four times just to get it in there nicely. And you'll see here why here in a second. Since it won't go all the way out on the score, I score as far as I can and then fold it the rest of the way. So when I put it back on the envelope punch board, like you normally do, I have that score, that folded or that score line to follow. So the rest of this will look very familiar. You'll just keep punching and scoring. I mentioned earlier that I kept my iron heated up and that's because once I had everything ready to um, be sealed, I went ahead and re-ironed it just to make sure those edges were nice and sealed down. I forgot to round the corners on the flaps earlier so I just pulled out the envelope punch board really quickly and did that now. And now is the time to go ahead and finish the envelope up. I am taking my ATG adhesive gun here and just putting adhesive on the bottom flaps. And there is the finalized envelope. I hope you enjoyed that little process video. I think this is going to be a great way to make large, fun envelopes. And again, I was inspired by those large greeting cards in the Target dollar spot. I thought the envelopes were fu so fun and I wish that you, know, you could just buy envelopes like that to do your mail with. So, as you can see, after the video, I did add just a repositionable glue dot to the flap of my envelope you know, just to keep it down. Now, if you were going to mail it, you would need to seal those edges. And I'll share the video below of how I prepared my envelope for shipping to Seth. 
If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you would like to know when I upload more videos, you can hit the subscribe button below or here in just a few seconds, my face will pop up in the middle of the screen and you can click on that. I hope you're all having a great day. If you make any envelopes of your own, I hope you'll share those with me. Thanks so much, crafty friends. Bye-bye. Thank you.